99 newbie back at it again with another video that's right we are starting over now it's just a new account obviously i'm gonna have my main account still going um we're gonna start with a cat this time by the way but we started a brand new oh yeah you get two we started a brand new account to see how far we can get in about 20 minutes not spending any robux and just straight up being a new player so we're gonna take it as it is we're gonna try and uh go really far and see what the game is like after a few updates we played it as a noob a little bit ago when it first came out and uh now that there's a lot of updates there's a lot of things that have changed the game balancing um and also different rewards and earnables we're gonna do it straight up with no robux here's our first two pets five billion exists that is insane if you guys are excited for this and you want to see some new series like this make sure you smash that like button it helps a ton i think we can get like eight likes on this video also subscribe and hit that notification bell there's a video let's get into it so remember in this game you tap the coins and you can send your pets to them so you can do both now you don't start off with free gifts teleport hoverboard or or auto hatch so you have to earn these things but look you're already earning quests so right when you start the game you're like bam a bunch of diamonds bam a bunch of loot bags and it's just so satisfying so fast right away look shiny relic bam it's just they did such a good job at the start of the game making it so satisfying um and i'm already at the next area look at that bam so it just takes like two seconds and then you buy it bam now i'm not actually timing this but i'm just gonna see how far we can get with a little noob playthrough. And this kind of shows you how you can uh, progress if you're a new player. So you're gonna wanna focus on quests first because the faster you rank up, kind of the better because as you keep going in the game, uh, oh, hatch three eggs, we can do that. But as you keep going in the game, the quests get a little bit harder and they start saying like, get uh, five coin jars broken in the fifth air or in the, in the best area that you have. And if your best area is like area two, then that's pretty good. You know what I mean? Because it's not gonna be too hard, but if your best area is like area 10 or 20, it's gonna be a bit harder, you know what I mean? So let's grab move faster. Now we get a little bit more walk speed, a little more pep in our step. Um, I don't think there's any shiny relics in these zones. And remember, we can't go through here yet because we have to actually progress through the game a little bit further. So let's uh, go hatch three eggs and complete this quest. We can't auto hatch yet or teleport but what we can do is teleport home which is honestly not needed because we're right here anyway <laughs> so let's unlock the new egg we just got and we'll go ahead and hatch three eggs so let's start with the first one we'll click to open this we got the axolotl we were missing that now let's try to get the corgi once we get the corgi we'll have all the pets out of this egg okay not getting the corgi yet but it's fine not getting the corgi yet but we don't need it <laughs> so let's claim this now we have a speed potion and we are already unlocking a ton of items from this questing. So let's just get the corgi. Are you serious? Okay, I don't need it. I don't need it. Let's move to the next one. So here we can get the chick. That's going to be a new best pet probably. And we got the bunny. Can we get the uh, spotted dog or whatever that is? Please. One more open on this one and we'll go to the next one. All right, we got another bunny. We at least have a bunch of pets and it's auto equipping our best. So we will get more powerful pets, which is good. Okay, we got a ducky now. And we got a monkey. And that's going to be equipped. Can we get the parrot? Dalmatian. Nice. Okay, so we have some pretty good pets right now. Our best being eight, this monkey. And now it's... I no longer even need these. Now we got two speed potions. They're not really that useful, but I'm just going to use them. Might as well go a little bit faster. So we have our pets doing a lot now but we need to go to the second area so that we can uh get more bang for our buck so let's go over here and start breaking like these boxes that's gonna be really big so these boxes the pets breaking will give us a lot more i noticed how in this game there's so many loot bags that drop which is sick but look at this as a new player you can just fly through this game i've only been playing for four minutes not even and we are already going to area three with 5,000 coin of Roonies. How much do we need for the next one? 8,000? Easy, bro. Actually easy. So right here, you can claim diamonds. And it's actually nice that they, they set this up because you can claim the diamonds and then grab the magnet. Oh, shiny relic. Yo, you can literally come over here and then grab this magnet upgrade. Bam. That's a nice layout. And then we now 
uh, have to earn 7.5k coins and break 50 breakables. So it would kind of be smart to not buy this next zone yet and complete a few quests. So I think I'm going to do that. I think I'm going to complete a few quests and see uh, what the next quests are that they give me. Oh, we completed. Okay. Let's at least get to rank two before we go to the next zone. You know what I mean? Okay. 50 breakables and hatch five eggs. That's a piece of cake. I forgot that the music was on, so hopefully it doesn't, like, copyright strike me, but they do have good music. I can't even lie. Made it to the pet equip area where you can get more pets equipped, which is really, really nice. Um, I almost have a thousand diamonds. I don't even know if that's enough. And I don't know where the first diamond breakables are because I can't actually do anything with this quest, the five diamond breakables. Do they just spawn randomly? I can't remember. Or they just start in a new area. I don't really know, but I have to progress a little bit further than I wanted to without ranking up to rank two. But we're almost with the 50 diamonds completed thing. So let's see uh, how long that takes. This damage potion. And I have my first enchant. I'm going to use strong right there. So now I have stronger pets and I have a damage potion. Not too bad. We should be doing a lot more damage to these things. Now I have 100,000 coins. Let's see the pet equip thing. We can buy... Almost all of them. We can't buy all of them, but uh, we have one more to get. So now we have, what, five, six pets equipped. We can't buy this. We have to earn some more diamonds. There's a diamond breakable. Our first actual diamond breakable spawned, finally. And we only got 28 from it. So we need a little bit more to get that upgrade. And that upgrade is going to give us... What is that upgrade even going to give us? Diamonds. So we actually probably should have bought that first. But now we have more pets equipped, and we're going to go hatch 10 eggs. And now the home teleport is coming in handy. Because look at this. Bam. That is pretty nice when you're that far away. So we got this new egg unlocked. Might as well buy it a bit. We got a squirrel. We're going to get a bunch of new best pets. Only a squirrel. Okay, we're only going to get a squirrel here. On, on PS99 newbie, we just get squirrels here. What the heck? I mean, I guess I can make a golden one eventually, but like... Now we got a full team of squirrels. This is embarrassing. Come on. A bear. There we go. We'll take it. Okay, so we got a bear. Bear's good. And we got another squirrel. Great. So that's my squad right here. A little squirrel squad and a bear. Um, we got a treasure hunter enchant, which is interesting. I'm going to grab that. I'm actually going to use that one. And then I'm going to use this coins potion as well. I got two of them from the rewards. Oh, wait. I have to hatch 10 pets. I totally forgot. That is a mistake. We got the tiger. So we got the rarest pet out of that egg. And that's going to be our new best, which is going to be 50 damage. Not too shabby. So now that we have that, we can run all the way here. I forgot how annoying it is to not have teleport, by the way. Jeez Louise. Okay, we need diamond breakables and we need 50 diamonds again. It's not going to be easy. All right, we now did it. We got our hoverboard and we ranked up. So... This is how good it is to rank up for the first time in this game. You get so many diamonds. Wow, I have a cursed number of diamonds. But you get a hoverboard. You get so many diamonds. You get a bunch of boosts. You get enchants. It's it's crazy what you get. So very, very useful. Definitely start grinding. You got to start grinding right away um, to the, to the uh, ranks. Because that's honestly the best thing you can do. So look. We got a big diamond breakable here. And now there's a break 150 coins thing. That's going to be easier in the first area. So we'll probably want to go back there. And look, we can go back on our hoverboard. Oh, wait, we need to earn three more diamonds to complete that quest. Let's do that. Collect an enchant. Did I not already do that? I thought I did. We have quests like this, like break 150 coins and stuff. It's way easier to go to the first area and just break everything here, especially with the breakables too. Like, look at that. It's just going up immediately. PS99 newbie, back at it again. It's probably the best simulator ever made on Roblox. Pet Sim X was really good, but this is way better. And as a noob, it makes it so easy and satisfying to get into. So I really still think they did a great job with the game. And I'm hyped to make a lot of videos on it. So I have some ideas to do what I did last time. I want to do videos where I do like using golden only pets and rainbow only pets and stuff like that. So what I'll have to do is since they don't have golden eggs, I'll actually have to um, 
I'll actually have to buy a game pass on that account that lets me hatch like magic eggs and then we'll have to do it from there. But look, see, I just encountered one of those things where it says break 125 in your best area. So the more areas I buy, the harder that quest will be. And the, the less areas I have, it makes it a little bit easier. You know what I mean? So that's why it's kind of good to knock out the quest first and not go too far because then you're just able to grind the quest a little bit easier. We got our first flag too. Okay, we got a flag. Let's use that magnet flag and a gift bag. We got a comet. We got all these items. This is big. So we have almost every boost. We got a comet here for extra, um, extra coinage. And we're breaking a lot of breakables. My gosh, that comet gave me so much stuff. That was so cool. It gave me so much that I'm at a million coins almost. So we are chilling. Um, we have to unlock an area for one of the quests. So I will do that. But I want to just break in this area before I unlock because, again, it's easier in this area because it's not as strong as the next one. All right, so I finally got my first gold bar. We're way ahead on money for where we are in the game. And I'm about to get the best breakables thing and then hatch 20 of my best eggs before we go to the next one because it's going to be cheaper. So check this out. We claim this. Teleport home. And now we hatch 20 of the best eggs. And we have to earn 200 diamonds. Easy. But check this out. 20 of these. No big deal. The only problem is my hatching. It's super annoying. And I can't wait to get the thing where you can actually auto hatch eggs and you don't have to click to open. And I can't wait to also open more eggs at a time. Because that's something you can unlock without game passes in this game, which is really cool. You can hatch more eggs without game passes. Like, they make that... That's such a nice change. 15 to 20. There it is. So now we just have to unlock an area and earn 200 diamonds and break 50 breakables. See, we'll do that here. So again, focusing on questing is definitely probably the most important as a noob because you'll get all these benefits, bonuses, enchants. You'll get uh, potions and everything you need to be a pro at the game. All right, we're now able to get more pet equips, which is really good. We spent a lot of diamonds for it, but now we have a lot more pets. And we bought the next area, which completed a quest. We are about to rank up again. But now we have a new best area. We can make more money. And our first obby thing is here. So we can complete this for rewards. And right away, it just... The game starts getting even more and more gameplay. Like, it's so freaking cool. I have plenty of money to keep going. But I want to break these breakables here and the safes. And uh, stack up some more coins and then get ready to max out my pets here because I'm super, super close. But let's rank up to three. I think we get another enchant slot at three. So let's do that real quick. About to be done. We're about to be... We're 26 minutes into playing this game on a new account. And we're about to be to area seven with rank three, which I think is pretty good. You have so many... Reach area 10. So you actually do have to go to a certain area to rank up. It, it makes you keep going. But if you're at that minimum area, it's probably the easiest. You know what I mean? Uh, amazing deal. You cannot tempt me with that because I can't spend Robux. But look, we, got, we unlocked our first vending machine. So we'll buy three and we'll buy one because we have plenty of coinage here. Now we got a bunch of presents, a bunch of things to, to break here. But we literally have so much money. We can just go straight to the next area. So let's get the move faster and buy the next zone. And we'll make it all the way to area 10 we can buy even the next area let's just keep going grab that and we now get a shiny boost and here is the moment we've all been waiting for the more eggs hatched purchases this is so helpful right here the problem is we don't have that many diamonds so we need to get more but now i can hatch what like how many can i hatch i can now hatch three out of 99 that's it that is not much so we're gonna need more money and more diamonds fast and buy some better pets. But I forgot I have to go all the way back there. So let's unlock all these eggs. We've made it this far. We're just going to buy two of these bad boys because it'll cost a lot. And we got a hedgehog and a turtle, which are going to be very, very powerful. Wait, let's actually buy two more. So now we got to go all the way there, but we should have unlocked this shortcut here. Nope, we haven't yet. Okay, great. Good thing the hoverboard's here. It comes in handy. But that's going to do it for my noob video right now. We're doing like a noob to pro in Petsim 99. No Robux. And we're just seeing how long it takes or 
how quickly you can uh, progress through the game without spending a dime and how fun the gameplay is right away. Honestly, they did such a good job with the balancing because it really feels like I'm progressing quickly, but I have to work for it. And but it's not too hard. Like it's a, it's a really good balance. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this new video. If you want me to continue the series, let me know. And of course, I will be doing more series where I do like golden only pets and things like that I did in Pets MX. So if you have any ideas, let me know. But two videos a day every single day. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you guys later.